when it comes to division research, we have this thing that we call rationalizing the denominator. Now, four on root two, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that answer. But if I want to compare, then I need the, uh, the denominators to be rational. And that's why we rationalize the denominator. If I want to compare two thirds, it's a lot easier if the denominator is a rational number. So I want to make the square root of two rational. Well, the easiest way to do it is multiply it by the square root of two. But I can't change the question, so I've got to multiply the top by the square root of two as well. So we get four root two on the top. And of course, root two times root two is two. It's now a rational number. And in this case, it will cancel to give us two root two. When you have something like this, three on two root five, uh, I was going to say the biggest mistake. It's not a mistake. It just makes it longer. You don't have to multiply by 2 root 5. You only have to multiply by the third part. It still works if you multiply by 2 root 5. It just means you'll end up with some cancelling later on, some more work to do. So root 5 on root 5. And so on the top we get 3 root 5. The bottom is 2 times 5, which is, of course, 10. Well, when we've got two terms on the bottom, this is where the idea of conjugate thirds comes in. So we will multiply by its conjugate, because then we'll get the difference of two squares. We'll get a rational number on the bottom. So multiply by root 2 plus 1 on root 2 plus 1. So the top is 3 root 2 plus 3. Bottom becomes 2 minus 1, which is, of course, 1. And we get a nice, neat answer. 3 root 2 plus 3. Let's try another one of those. Ah, you see this, not this exact question, but that sort of pattern where you have the conjugates, one on top, one on bottom. And so to rationalize the denominator, we multiply by the conjugate. So the top ends up with a, a perfect square and the bottom ends up with the difference of two squares. But the amusing thing is the perfect square turns out to be irrational, whereas the difference of two squares isn't. Because on the top, you have twice the, uh, the middle term. So you still end up with a third on top. You end up with four root three there. And tidying that on up, oh look, the denominator is 1 again. Just a word of warning there, the denominator is not always 1. Don't just assume it's 1 and go, oh, well, I could save time here, 1. All right, two dimensions. Ooh, flat.